Nicki Minaj's song, No Frauds, is primarily a diss track aimed at Dreamy Ma, who released, a month prior, Seether, a diss song unrelentingly insulting Minaj for seven minutes. At one point, Remy Ma even takes the gloves off and mentions Nicki Minaj's brother who is a convicted child monster. If you aren't aware of Nicki Minaj's weird family history, here's a quick sum up. Delani Marriage, Nicki's brother, was arrested in December 2015 for child rape charges. Forensics found his semen on the 12-year-old rape victim's clothes. He was released on $100,000 bail and rejected a plea deal of 15 years to life. He will face life in prison if convicted. After he was released on bail, the family went bowling and Nikki posted a selfie of the event on Instagram. Nikki also reportedly paid $30,000 for her brother's wedding. One of Nikki's alter egos is the Harajuku Barbie, so she often refers to herself as Barbie. Ken dolls are male counterparts to Barbie dolls, next to Ken, as a homophone for next of kin, referring back to Jelani. Remy also calls out to Nikki's young fanbase, known as Barb's, and urges their parents to take heed to Jelani's criminal charges. After the release of Seether, there was some pressure on Nikki Minaj to release a response to this lyrically violent Remy Ma song. The response came, but not in the form of a hardcore rap diss track. Nicki Minaj instead released a catchy dancey single, featuring rap superstars Drake and Lil Wayne, where she dedicates some words to Remy Ma almost as an afterthought. However, after one watches the video, a clear underlying message emerges from the song, Minaj doesn't really need to do battle raps with the likes of Remy Ma. Years ago she sold out to the occult elite who control her career and guarantee her success, for now. The video for No Frauds is indeed laced with all kinds of symbols associated with the occult elite, notably the British monarchy. Let's look at the video. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The video begins with Nicki Minaj asserting that she's the degenerate queen. Sorry, I meant Degeneres queen. She then asks people to ask Ellen Degeneres about her royal persona. Nicki Minaj has been a regular guest on Ellen Degeneres' show, who is herself the queen of daytime TV. She's bragging about getting the sweet mass media exposure that industry pawns profit from, while well, they're hot. At least she has apparently moved on from her previous persona Roman Zelansky, which was clearly inspired by Roman Polanski. As you might know, he directed the movie Rosemary's Baby, about the coming of the Antichrist, and he was convicted of drugging and abusing a 13-year-old girl in 1977. With her Illuminati ball mask, her hands making horns, and the snakes on her dress, Minaj appears to be an evil, vengeful and demon-possessed queen. In another shot, Minaj poses as a dignified queen, complete with a bejeweled crown on her head. Right from the start, there's a duality going on with Nicki Minaj, who embodies both a mask evil queen and a crowned heiress showing a dignified face to the people. The camera then does a close-up of a sword that tells you everything you need to know about this video. This is a Masonic dress sword. Inside the oval on the hilt of the sword is the symbol of the cross and crown. It is the main symbol representing the Knight Templars, one of the most ancient secret societies in Western occultism. Interesting fact. That symbol esoterically represents a male organ penetrating a female organ, which is an allusion to sex magic. On each side of the sword's guard is a cross patty, another ancient symbol representing the Knights Templar. A similar sword found on a website auctioning off Masonic items. It is described as a Knights Templar Masonic sword with a scrimshot ivory handle and original chain. This is a Masonic ring with the symbol of the cross and crown and three small crosses patty. Breast swords are used in Masonic rituals and ceremonies such as the initiation of a new candidate. This is an example of a Masonic ritual taken from an antique book of the Scottish Rite. 
This Masonic ceremonial sword is not prominently featured in this Nikki Minaj video simply because it looks cool. It bears an important symbolic meaning, and it directly refers to secret societies and the occult elite. This snapshot shows Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj are sitting on Masonic chairs. The Masonic dress sword is strategically placed between them. The occult elite is what keeps them sitting on the throne of the music business. Other shots in the videos appear to focus on a specific theme, occult London. Here are some examples. It is 3 o'clock on Big Ben. 3 a.m. is known in occult circles as the Devil's Hour. In this shot, it is most likely 3 p.m., but the reference is still there. The 3 a.m. time slot is regarded by paranormal experts as a time when pure evil, either demons or entities from the spirit world, make their presence felt. The thinking behind the specific time of 3 a.m. is that it is a deliberate mocking of the death of Jesus Christ, who, according to ancient writing, died in the middle of the afternoon, at 3 p.m., Psychics believe that the veil between our world and the spirit world is lifted at this time, and our relaxed state of minds, especially in a state of deep sleep, may be more susceptible to paranormal activity. This is a shot of the gates of the Buckingham Palace, adds to the occult elite visuals of the video. Some viewers might ask what the royal family has to do with the occult elite. The answer is everything. This photo shows King George VI, left, and the Duke of Kent, right, in full Masonic regalia. King George VI, after whom the movie King's Speech was inspired, was the father of Queen Elizabeth II. The Duke of Kent is Queen Elizabeth II's cousin and the Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England. I could go on for days about the tight and long-standing association between the royal family and Freemasonry, but this video is about another queen, Nicki Minaj. Considering the occult context of the video, the following scene takes on an even stranger meaning. Minage sits on the Westminster Bridge. On her dress are some of the elite's favorite symbols to identify industry pawns. A butterfly, representing monarch programming, and all-seeing eyes. This scene was filmed only days before the Westminster Bridge terror attack. It almost seems as if they knew that some kind of dark occult ritual was about to take place in this very spot. The fact that this video was released shortly after the attack did not sit well with some people who did not appreciate the fact that the footage of Minage posing on the bridge, like some kind of occult queen, was not removed from the video. In another scene, Minage wears a bright red PVC outfit, conforming to the occult color code that continually appears in mass media music videos. As stated in several previous videos, red is the color of blood sacrifice. Another color of the occult code is black, the color of initiation. In the music industry, the color black is nearly always associated with the extreme sexualization of the star. As we are treated to this heavily symbolic imagery, Nicki Minaj disses Remy Ma, claiming that her cosmetic surgery did not make her hotter. Shenina, you a fraud committing perjury. I got before and after pictures of your surgery. Ra took you to her dock, but you don't look like Ra. Left the operating table, still look like nah. To be clear, in this song, we're hearing one female rapper who had major surgery done, including massive buttock implants, ridiculing the results of another rapper's surgery. Rap is going in bizarre directions. Then, Drake comes on and shoots a few leftover disses to his one-time rival, Meek Mills. He also does this. You know what that means. Then Lil Wayne comes on and reveals to the world that he's a dinosaur. Some truly thought-provoking stuff. The video ends with an unsettling scene where Nikki apparently switches between being a dignified queen and a demonic queen. The occult elite also embodies this duality, acting a certain way for the cameras and another way behind the scenes. They are telling you that they have two faces. One that is adorned with jewels and dignity, another that is hidden with fraud and depravity. While the lyrics of No Frauds contain hints of typical battle rap, the imagery of the video heavily points to something deeper. Indeed, the video symbolically reveals that Minage does not need to battle other rappers to secure her position as a rap queen. She's been busy securing her position for years, willingly being used by the elite to carry out its agenda, complete with occult imagery, MK Ultra references, and so forth. 
As long as she's the elite's pawn, she will, by default, get the financial backing and media exposure required to remain on top of the game. However, all of this comes at a price. Indeed, as seen, Minage is essentially a pretty puppet, dancing in pretty clothes, wearing the borrowed jewelry of her masters who force her to celebrate their occult rituals, blood sacrifices, and mind control. And once you step into this realm, there is no coming back. As Nikki sings in the song's hook, you gotta pick a side, pick a side. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.